Well, we're starting our trip home. It's not how we had intended. We uh, we were hoping to be out on the road for seven weeks this trip, and it's been a week and a half. And with everything that's going on with the coronavirus and talking about sheltering in place and hunkering down, and, and so that's what we're doing. We is this is uh, Wednesday, March 18th. And we are packing things up today, and we're going to make the trek home. I think it's going to be a real interesting ride because so many things are starting to close that I'm questioning that we're, we may run into some problems, which is another reason why leaving now probably makes more sense than waiting. Right now, I understand that some states, uh, North Carolina and Pennsylvania for sure, along our route, have closed their roadside rests. Um, we tend on a trip like this, we would tend to use that for an overnight stay. I mean, we don't necessarily need the rest area building. You know, we have everything we need in the trailer. It'd be nice to have that place to pull off. And that doesn't mean we can't pull off and probably stop someplace else. But, you know, Walmarts are now no longer open 24 hours. Cracker Barrels, you know, a lot of restaurants, you know, are closing. That You know, sit-down restaurants are closing, so I don't know if you can pull into a parking lot there. It's really going to be interesting. I don't know what our options are going to be to stop uh, along the way. Um, I'm kind of guessing that maybe some retail places we could stop in those parking lots, you know, like Cabela's or um, Bass Pro Shop and, and park for the night there. We can always get a campground, but as we get farther and farther north, a lot of the campgrounds aren't even open. Obviously, the state campgrounds are most of them are probably closed. A uh, little apprehension um, starting out here today, but I think in the long run, this is the right thing to do. We'll get ourselves back home and then we can, you know, start thinking about the next trip. So, until then, you know, we'll be like the rest of the, us Americans and, you know, listen to our government and hunker down and try to apply social distancing so that we don't transmit the disease between other between people hopefully we don't get it and if we do get it we don't give it to somebody else Well, we stopped here at Palm City for lunch and we went into Panda Express. You know, they were only doing to-go orders. So we picked our food up to go. We ate it in the Airstream, which was convenient. I just went back to take a little video of the outside of the place. I noticed they just put a sign up saying that they are no longer even uh, allowing you to come into the restaurant. Um, you can order your food online or through their app and they will bring it out to you, but you, you're, they're not letting you come into the restaurant anymore. So things are changing literally as we speak. So it's gonna be an interesting ride home. are traveling north on I-95. We are probably 27 miles south of Columbia, South Carolina, and we're caught in a traffic jam. There's a lot of heavy traffic going north, um, a lot of out of a lot of, say, out of out of country, a lot of Canadian license plates heading this way, and a lot of RVs. Um, going north too so a lot of people are getting out of Florida like we are and heading home to hunker down or whatever um, to kind of get through this crisis but right now we've been for probably about the last half hour or so we've been only doing about one two three miles per hour 
I'm not quite sure what what the delay is. Probably trying to get, you know, I'd like to try to get maybe halfway home, you know, stop somewhere around the South Carolina, uh, North Carolina border. Probably be another, oh gosh, probably, probably 150, 200 miles. I don't know. That would give us, that would be putting us 600 miles down and we've got currently 886 miles to go, so. I don't know if we can do that or not, but whatever we can do. Trying to not to make this a three-day trip if we don't have to. Stop for the night. We had a rest area just south of Charlotte on I-77. Good morning, everybody. After spending the night here at the roadside rest, we are ready to hit the road. It's about 8:30 in the morning, and we got about a 12-hour drive, not counting any time we stop. So we're gonna have to get gas, food, and whatever in there. I can tell you one of the biggest thing that worries me about this drive home is actually getting food. Um, you know, with all this, you can't go through a drive-thru and most restaurants are closed to walk-in traffic. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. Well, maybe we have to find uh, some place that doesn't have a drive-thru that will still allow people to walk in. Maybe we can go to a grocery store and get a sub or something. I'm not sure. But we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. The nice thing with the trailer is, you know, we've got a place that we can eat in. Um, you know, we, we don't even need to use, you know, the bathrooms at a rest area or anything like that. So, oh, by the way, I should show you where we're at. So, we're sitting here at a rest area in uh, South Carolina. We're right to the North Carolina border. So, we haven't got too far to go before we cross the border in the North Carolina. We got a big drive day, though. Know, um, about 700 miles. So, it's going to take a good part of the day. It's going to take all day, really, to get there. We'll be late tonight by the time we get home. But I want to get get this done in one day, you know, finish this off and get home, so that you know we don't prolong this this uh, trip. Also, in you know, the uncertainty of what we could run into. Stopping for dinner on the road. The food choices are kind of difficult with uh, the, all the restrictions. The only drive throughs are available, and this big rig does not fit through a drive through, so we stopped and reheated some pasta. The dogs are eating too. Then we'll be back on the road, finish this drive home. No. <laughs> no. Go on. Wait a 
So after two 14 hour days of driving covering 1350 miles, we have made it back home and we are safe. And now we are ready to take on the next challenge, which is to be like the rest of you and to hunker down at our home and just say, keep ourselves safe for the next couple of weeks or whatever time this takes to um, pass through and, and people say it's safe to go out and start doing normal things again. Zaf. Are you home? You glad to be home? You're always glad to be home. You've been outside, ran around the yard. Yes. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And make sure to ring the bell so that you get notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis and would like you to follow along in our journey. So for now, everybody, please be safe. Follow what your government is telling you to do and hunker down. Try not, you know, wash your hands a lot. Keep your social distance. And we'll see you down the road in the future when this is all blown by.